Hey guys, let's talk Holbox Island, Mexico. I just went there over Christmas. It was awesome. Um, so I wanted to give you guys some things to know before you go. I left from Playa del Carmen, so we took the bus and the ferry. So a little adventure there. Um, so I'll give you some details and some prices on that. Let's get into the video. Holbox Island, Mexico. All right, guys, I want to tell you some things to expect before you go and things to do before you go. So I took out money for the whole length of my stay because I heard the ATMs weren't that great. I didn't use them when I was there, so I'm not sure, but um, the internet goes down, so um, they might not work. So I would get money ahead of time. Um, and rain, guys, there's no paved roads. <laughs> it is crazy. So if it rains, um, you are in mud, 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 like super deep, like it floods so um, think about that when you're packing your suitcase like maybe you want to take a backpack instead um, or try not to go when it is raining um, so now I went from Playa del Carmen and I took the ADO bus this is it I took the one right on 5th Street um, it's like the tourist one or whatever and um, there's two locations so watch that when you get your ticket um, guys highly 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 recommend getting your ticket online I got the app um, because the lineup was insane when I went there. So I kind of just went in through the back door and said that I already had my ticket on my phone and they just like let me right in. Um, but yeah, get your ticket ahead of time. Um, the bus was like super comfortable. Um, there was a plastic um, divider between the seats. Uh, this is the volume for the TV. If you happen to sit in the front of the TV, you can actually turn it down because um, it was super loud and no one told us to like on the way home. Um, here's the view from if you're in the front there. So you take the bus to this place called Chiquita, and there's two different ferries. There's this blue one, and then there's um, the Holbosch fast one. The tickets are to 324 pesos, um, one way, both companies. So they run on the half an hour. So you, if you're at one booth and then they just close the window on you, literally just walk across the street and the other one opens. It's so funny. Um, and literally, guys, it's like two, three steps away. Um, so ferry was pretty fast. I think it was like 20 minutes. When you get in, you can get one of these, um, you can rent a golf cart or you can get a golf cart taxi because there's no cars at all on the island. This is the town center and if you're around here, everything's really easy to get around to. The beach is super close to here. Um, don't forget to go see the sunsets. They are totally amazing. Now, there is so many restaurants and cafes to go to. Just pop around and try some out. This place was crazy. It had the hugest, these are chicken fingers. It was like the size of your forearm. They were totally crazy. Delicious. Um, but try all the little spots. Like, there were so many. We spent a, quite a long time walking around because they have all this awesome street art everywhere. Like, down some of the side roads, on the main roads. So much talent. This is my favorite coffee place. Um, the artwork outside was pretty awesome. Uh, best coffee went here like every single day, sometimes twice. The staff was super awesome. Um, when you walk around, check out some of these signs because they are pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh. um, the famous Holbosch sign right on the beach. You can't miss it. Got to get your picture taken there, right? So this is Punta Coco. So the, the pier is just right down there. We went super early in the morning and it was gorgeous. There's barely anyone around. Go walk out onto the beach. Something else I would totally recommend doing is you can rent these um, day beds or chairs. And um, we paid, I think ours was 600, so 100 went for the chair, the bed fee, and then the 500 goes toward your food and drink while you're there. And you can use their facilities and towels, and this place had a place where you could watch the sunset, so that was really cool. Um, yeah, and the servers just come around, and um, the 500 just goes toward your food and drink. So here you can see how narrow the roads are, so only a couple of these golf carts can fit by at a time. Um, and like I said, don't go when it's raining, because all of that is just like literally covered in water. So you're going to lose your sandals. Don't bring good sandals if it's going to be raining when you're there. This sunset was right over as far as you could go um, where the sandbar is to walk over to Mosquito Beach. So amazing. So this is a view of the sandbar. So it's the last um, beach club 
um, before you can get to Mosquito Beach. Um, so those pe there's people out there on the sandbar. So cool. Go during low tide. You can walk out forever. It kind of feels like you're walking on water. It's bizarre. Um, and then um, I didn't walk all the way over to Mosquito Beach because there was a sign and it said like, watch out for crocodiles and they're trying to protect the birds. So I only walked so far, but it was so cool. Make sure you do it. Um, and we were there during Christmas. So Santa came to like the town square and started handing out all these presents. Um, it was so cool. He showed up with like military police escort, which was interesting. <laughs> um, but they had so many presents, so I don't know. Um, they must do like donations, or maybe it was an organization. Um, but he sat there for quite a while and handed out presents. So amazing. So here you can see how far you can walk out, and then that's the sandbar where you can see all those people walking. Um, the sunset was incredible. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. Ask me questions below. I was just there, so maybe I have some answers for you. Or let me know if you've been there and what was your favorite part. Um, we This was us. <laughs> we rented the golf cart for four hours. Um, it was pretty fun. But guys, like I can't stress enough, like totally different experience if it was raining and muddy because like all of this is all mud. Um, we were there and it was dry when we were there, but there were still a few um streets that were super muddy and it like we were there for four days didn't see it rain but like this is just the leftover um mud puddles here you can see one right here so i just want to recap um a couple things and um, let you know about the island too that i hadn't seen i watched a lot of youtube videos and no one kind of mentioned it um, the island itself is one mile wide and 26 miles long, but you can't drive the whole thing. There's only like a small section. I think it's two miles you can drive. Um, and then it's broken up into rivers. So there's two different rivers on there. Um, so yeah, you can only drive like to that one beach club that we saw. And then um, you can take the sandbar over to the other one. But yeah, you can't drive the whole thing. So that's good to know. Um, we rented that golf cart for four hours. It ended up being about 40 US. They do take your driver's license and hold it, and you do have to sign a waiver. Um, the bus we took from Playa del Carmen, ADO, um, that's the bus name. Uh, comfortable, like I said, it was 324 for one way from Playa del Carmen, and the ferry was 220 from Chiquila to, and that was one way as well, um, to Holbosch. Um, guys, for sure, get your tickets ahead of time. I just downloaded the ADO app, um, then you have your ticket on you. Um, yeah, because the lineup was, just insane um so yeah make yourself uh make your trip easier on yourself right so i highly recommend going though it was super awesome we went for four days um yeah and not, like i said try not to go in the rain um have a good time make sure you subscribe to the channel and ask me any questions i'm here for five months